It's hello third grade. We are going to be retelling this lesson that we learned yesterday, which was Jesus's burial and resurrection. So we're just going to talk about it a little bit, go through some pictures that go along with what we learned. So remember, on the evening that Jesus was buried, the tomb was sealed and guards were posted to keep watch over it. And then three days later, on the first day of the week, early in the morning, it was still dark outside, a group of women who were followers of Jesus set out for the tomb. Among them were Mary, the mother of James, and Mary Magdalene. They were bringing spices and oils to embalm the body and wondered how they would be able to roll back the large, heavy stone covering the tomb. Suddenly, there was a violent earthquake. Remember, they went and the tomb was open and an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled back the stone covering the tomb entrance and sat on it. His appearance was as bright as lightning and his clothes were white as snow. The guards were petrified. They trembled and ran off. So that wasn't a part that we learned, but it is part of the lesson. So then when the women arrived they, at the tomb, they noticed a large stone covering the entrance had been rolled back. As they entered the tomb, they saw the angel and they were alarmed. The angel said, do not be afraid, for I know that you are looking for Jesus who was crucified. But why are you looking for the living among the dead? He said, he is not here. He has risen just as he said. Come and see the place where he lay. Now go and quickly tell his disciples he has risen from the dead and is going ahead of you into Galilee. So the woman hurried away from the tomb, afraid, yet filled with joy, and ran to tell his disciples. So remember, they were walking to the tomb, thinking they were going to find Jesus in there. But remember, he told them he was going to raise from the dead three days later. So now they know that their Savior has risen from the dead. So now they walked over there sad, but now they're leaving with joy in their hearts. So let's go over. Since Jesus raised himself from the dead... What does this show us about him? So remember, he raised himself. It shows us that he is God's son and he is our savior. So it's showing us that he's both. He's God's son and our savior. So now why is it important for us to be absolutely certain that Jesus is God's son and our savior? Why is it so important for us to know both of those things? Well, we are saved through our faith in Jesus as our Savior. So remember, our faith is what saves us. And since we know that Jesus is our Savior, we can trust that he has earned forgiveness for all of our sins. So by us knowing how important it is, we know that Jesus is our Savior and that he came, died on the cross to take away our sins. So again, what does Jesus' death and resurrection show us? Remember, we learned about those last week too. Well, the miraculous signs at Jesus' death, the fulfillment of the scripture, and his resurrection, they all show us, again, that Jesus is God's Son and our Savior, and that we have faith in him. So now, I want to ask you a question. How would you answer the question, who is Jesus? When you think of that, how would you answer, who is Jesus? I know I would say that he came to earth to die for my sins. He is God's son and he is also my savior. And I have faith in him that he died on the cross to take away my sins so I can have eternal life. So remember, by God's grace, we believe that Jesus is God's son. He is also our risen savior. So let's pray together. Dear Father, thank you for sending your Son to be our Savior. Thank you for letting us learn about his death and resurrection, which won our salvation. Amen. There will be a quiz on Enmodo, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, third grade.